while since you've been away, hasn't it? Yes, probably uh, 16 years, I think. Yeah, it's Just not a long time, is it? <laughs> not in football. No. Youth football, though, you've stuck to that. You, yeah. you particularly enjoy working with the kids, don't you? Yeah, I think that's been uh, throughout my coaching career. I've worked basically with the youth team and uh, reserve team players. I had a spell at Huddersfield where probably 18 months, first team coach. But other than that, I've uh, obviously my uh, main coaching pedigrees with the with the youth teams. And by sticking to that, as obviously you you've, you've worked a reputation for yourself in the region as well. Yeah, obviously I've uh, worked at a couple of clubs in the area, and uh, obviously I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Before we come to the to the current, tell us what, about one or two of the one of the one or two of the projects that you came through in your first spell at Sheffield United. Uh, well, the the boys that we work with and uh, we developed uh, Curtis Woodhouse, obviously he's still around. <laughs> he got sold for a few quid. Uh, Lee Morris yeah. and uh, Wayne Quinn was another boy who moved up to Newcastle. So they're probably the three that uh, went for any sort of value. So you're back here now, long term, and it's it's, a, it's about development, bringing those kids on, and hopefully trying to push them up into Chris Morgan's under-21s and David Weir's first team. Exactly. Chris has been a big influence as well with the players. He works uh, alongside Trav and myself, and uh, we, we've done quite well so far. It's been a good, good two or three months.